Hello, hello, and welcome back to our VPC videos. As always, I'm Antonio. Now today we're talking about possibly the most controversial game on the market, Cards Against Humanity. While there are clearly many of you out there that don't like this game and would never play it, there appear to be as many people that simply love this game and what it brings to the gaming table. Well, for those of you that are firmly on the don't like side of things, think of this as a list of games that appeal to the naughty and comedic element of cards, but with a bit more game to them and a little less vulgarity. For those of you that are really looking for games that are like Cards Against Humanity, think of this as a list of games that you can t make just about as un-PC as you like, but also mix up the formula a little bit just to keep things interesting. Whichever side of the fence you land on, here are five great games that can bring a lot of fun to your gaming group. We kick things off with Loaded Questions, a game that is, ostensibly, about getting to know your friends a bit better and seeing who knows them best. Loaded Questions starts with your basic roll and move element, and people trying to make it to the win square as fast as they can. However, rolling isn't the only thing that dictates how far you move on your turn. Each spot you can land on has a color, and this color correlates to a category of question that you will then ask the other players. Questions that usually have potential to get a little risque. After everyone has written down their answers, one of the players reads all of them to the person whose turn it is, who then has to guess who gave which answer. For each correct guess that they get, they get to move their piece one extra space. This game scales very well with age due to the open-ended nature of the questions and usually results in laughs thanks to how silly it lets players get. An adult re-theming of one of our cafe's favorite games, Telestrations After Dark, gives the old Telestrations formula a little spice with some double entendre sparking words to draw. For those of you unaware, Telestrations simply combines Pictionary and the telephone game into one enormously silly package. In this game, everyone will start with a drawing pad and a word to draw. Once they have finished, each player passes their pad to the player next to them, who has to guess what that first person was trying to draw. They will then write down their guess on the next page of the drawing pad, and again, pass the pad to the person next to them, who now has to draw the new word. The pad keeps getting passed on in this manner until it finally makes its way back to the person who drew the first picture. And then, everyone gets to go through the book and follow along and see how a cucumber became a banana, then a squash, and then a snake, and finally, a deflated balloon. The illustrious winner of this year's Spiel de Aris, Codenames is coming out with a couple of new editions of the game, including this adult-themed version that comes in its very own Cards Against Humanity-style black and white box. Deep Undercover plays the same as vanilla Codenames, that is, each team is a spy master that is trying to guide them to the right words on a grid. Some words represent their own agents. These are the cards that you want to pick. Other cards represent either civilians or the other team's agents, cards you don't want to pick. <laughs> to guide the fellow players, spy masters can only give a one word and one number clue, with the number corresponding to the number of cards on the grid that pertain to that clue. This game makes it onto this list simply because of how good Codenames is as a, a game. Everyone should try it, and that's why it's good that this game is coming out with in different flavors, so more people can really get into this great game. I will warn, however, that the language in this one is indeed very adult, and I wouldn't play this with anyone you wouldn't want to play Cards Against Humanity. One of my personal favorite party games to recommend for groups at the cafe is Cash and Guns. Still the only game I know of that gives you a foam gun to point at each other while playing. This game is on, on to its second edition at this point, and one play shows why it's lasted this long. Cash and Guns plays like the end of an epic crime movie. Everyone got out of the job alive, and now you're back at base, splitting up the loot. Only, not everyone agrees on how that should go down. Well, that's where the foam guns come in. And at the beginning of each round, you pick someone to point that gun at. Now, you may or may not have a bullet in your gun this time, but without knowing, everyone has to evaluate just how many guns are pointed at them and if they want to simply put their gun down and walk away. Put it down or get shot, and you don't get to pick up any loot that round. The person with the most loot at the end wins. So, do you feel lucky? The only game on this list that is more or less follows the same formula as Cards Against Humanity, we have fun employed. 
A game about arguing why you're crazy is the right kind of crazy for the job. On each turn, there will be one player who's acting as the hiring manager and draws a job card. Everyone else will use the cards in their hand that have various traits on them that most people don't want in the prospective employee to put together an employee they feel fits the job. Unlike cards, though, this one isn't over when you pick your cards. Each player has the opportunity to defend their character and argue why a cape-wearing, fairy dust-sprinkling, pampered child with bad aim is the best fit for the opening of Ice Cream Server. After hearing everyone out, the hiring manager then gives the job and card to one of the applicants, usually the one who made them laugh the most. The person who can BS their way to the most job cards at the end of the game wins, and everyone has a good laugh in the process. Well, that's it for our list and our video. Don't forget to leave us any questions, omissions, or grievances in the comments below. Or you're welcome to come down to the cafe and argue with us in person or try any of these great games. And if you really liked our video, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. Well, thanks for watching, and as always, game on.